Hey everybody, Danny here from O'Reilly Auto Parts to show you how to change the oil on your 2015 Ram 1500. Before I get into that, take a second to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Today, I'll be changing the oil on this 2015 Ram 1500 Bighorn with a 3.6 liter engine. And procedures will be similar on many late model Ram 1500s, but be sure to know the details for your truck before getting started. If you're not completely comfortable doing this yourself, we'd be happy to recommend a professional technician in your area. Once you've got your supplies together, here's what you'll do. Run the engine until the truck reaches operating temperature. Park on a level surface and turn off the engine. Lift and support the front end of your truck if necessary. Open the hood and locate the oil filter cap. Rotate the cap counterclockwise with a 24 millimeter socket. and lift it to remove the old filter from the housing. Pull on the filter to disengage it from the cap. Use a pick to remove the existing O-ring seal and discard it. Slide a drain pan into place under the drain plug. Loosen the drain plug with a 13 millimeter socket and allow the oil pan to drain completely. Inspect the drain plug threads and replace the plug and gasket if it's damaged. Use a rag or shop towel to wipe down the drain plug and the area around the drain itself. Reinstall the drain plug and tighten it to 20 foot-pounds. If you raise your front end, you can lower it now. To install the new filter, start by lubricating the new O-ring seal with clean oil and install it on the filter cap. Press the filter into place in the oil filter cap. Lower the cap and filter into the housing and thread it into place by hand. Once it's secure, tighten it to 18 foot-pounds. Remove the oil fill cap and add the amount and type of oil recommended by the manufacturer. For this specific truck, we'll add six quarts of synthetic 5W20 engine oil. Synthetic oil isn't required for this vehicle, but it is recommended. Put the fill cap back on and use the dipstick to check the oil level. Start the engine and check for leaks. Once you're sure there aren't any leaks, turn the engine off and recheck the oil level. Close the hood. To reset your oil change indicator, cycle the ignition to the on position without pressing the brake pedal. Don't start the engine. For trucks with push button ignition, press the start stop button without stepping on the brake pedal and again, don't start the engine. Press the down arrow to scroll to vehicle info. Press the right arrow button to access the oil life. Press and hold the right arrow button for one second to select oil life reset. Use the down arrow to select OK, then press the right arrow button to confirm reset. Press the up button to exit the screen. Don't forget to remove the oil pan from under the truck. And that's it. You'll find everything you need for this and other jobs at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or OReillyAuto.com. Our DIY videos are designed to help answer questions we get in our stores every day. If you found this one helpful, subscribe to our channel to get all the latest. We'll see you again soon.